The human mind is an amazing thing. It can create, forget, remember and distort limitless ideas. When thoughts form, the mind manipulates them into many different images and concepts. As I write, links are made, thoughts and ideas develop. Each chapter, each page, each line, even each word relies on this connection to form meaning. A unique experience is conveyed, something so detailed, yet so vague. It captivates you, you develop a hunger for more. You need to know what happens next. Sorry, I did mean to frighten you. Uh, no, no, uh, that's, that's, that's fine. What time is it? It's 10.30. Arthur's waiting outside with the car. Ah, thank you. Where to, Mr. Clark? Dr. Pateman's office, thank you, Arthur. Righto, boss. How are we today? Good. Good. Good, thank you. And the novel? It's... It's good. Richard! It's 11 o'clock already. How are we today? Yes, um... <clears throat> okay, thank you. Water? Yes, please. Jessica Pateman. She's more of a friend than a shrink. There's something about her that draws you in. Her eyes. They have that... settling look. So, I, I see Carol has been in touch with you. Of course she has, Richard. She's your publisher. Writer's block is a serious affliction for someone of your status. She's just concerned about you. We're all worried about you. She's just worried about herself. No book means no money. She wants you to do this for you. It has nothing to do with what she has to gain from it. She's the one paying for this treatment. That's bullshit. I've been through this cycle five times. Yes, and it keeps reoccurring, Richard. We meet here week after week and we can't seem to get past this. It's going to take longer this time. I'm sorry, I just... I just want everything to be better. Richard, I need you to tell me what exactly you're struggling with. Richard? I can't... I can't finish. Finish? The novel, I... I can't end it. And why is that, do you think? I don't know how to. I can't... I can't connect the story or the characters. I just don't feel part of it anymore. Please excuse me. There's been an urgent situation. Can you please report to head office? Thank you. I'm terribly sorry, Richard. I'm going to have to cut this short. I'll arrange to see you again tomorrow to discuss this further. We can get through this. Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, and Richard, get some sleep. You look tired.
think you should leave this for a while. Come and eat dinner with me. Have a night away from writing. It'd be nice. You know I can't do that. I just need to sort myself out. I need to push through all this. You don't have to do this to yourself. Do what? This. All this writing. We have enough money. We could live here just the two of us. You wouldn't have to see Dr. Pateman anymore and we wouldn't be in this position. You don't think I want that? You don't think I want to just close up this whole fucking mess and, and continue on with our lives? I need to finish this. Why? Why do you do this? Because I can't fail anymore. I've been working on this book for three years. Three fucking years. And what do I have to show for it? Just words, just meaningless words and sentences. That's not true. Your work is incredible. But maybe it's time to think about stopping before you do some damage to yourself. This isn't healthy for you. Please. I'm fine. Fine, huh? You don't eat? You don't sleep? You don't know what it's like. I have so much pressure laying upon me and my work. I sit here sifting through pages day after day and for what? To get some hint of what to write next? This, this is just a cycle. It's, it's, it's a vicious cycle. I can do this myself. I don't need something else holding me back. Is everything all right? Yes, um, I'm, I'm fine. Just, just a little, just a little tired. That's all. Okay, well, as I was saying, uh, we're going to talk more about you today. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, I feel okay. Um... It's all right. Please, Richard, go on. I just... I, I can't think anymore. I, I don't know what else I can do. And why is that, do you think? What are you struggling with? It's a bit too much just trying to finish the book and and being with Rose and, and, and seeing you and it's... With Rose? Yes. I just find it's become quite frustrating. What? Why? What? What, what? what are you writing about? Um... Richard, has Rose been telling you to stop writing? Well, no. Well, she... She suggested that, that, I, uh, that I stopped writing. What has any of this got to do with Rose? Richard, I want you to ask Rose to leave the room. Why? What's, what's, what's going on? Just tell her, Richard. Tell her to leave. I don't, I don't understand. Richard, tell Rose to leave the room. Rose, can you please leave? Rose! Rose, can you please leave? Richard. Rose, 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 please leave. She's not leaving. Why won't she leave? Richard, Rose isn't here. What? What are you talking about? She's not here. She's not with us in this room. What is your problem? I can see her. I can feel her. You've, you've lost it, Doc. That's just it, Richard. You can see her and you can feel her. Nobody else can. No, 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 look here, look. This is a photo of us last year when we bought our house. She's there, she's in the photo next to me. She's not in the photo. Look, she's right there. Rose isn't real, Richard, she's not in the photo. Rose is an alter ego you created many years ago, Richard. Your last novel, it changed you. You began to live out this reality you'd created within your own pages. And we haven't been able to fix this. I'm sorry, Richard. 
No. No, she's in the photo. She's right there. She's right there. Arthur! Arthur! The human mind is an amazing thing. It can create, forget, remember and distort limitless ideas. As I write, each chapter, each page, each line, even each word relies on this connection to form meaning. A unique experience is conveyed, something so detailed, yet so vague. It captivates you, you develop a hunger for more. You need to know what happens next.